How to add Google AdSense code inside a WordPress post. When you log into your Google AdSense account, simply press on My Ads menu tab. Then, if you haven't created new ad units, simply create new ad units. The process is straightforward. Once you create your ad code, you'll have code type. There's two different ones. One is asynchronous. Always select asynchronous but you can also select synchronous if you want. It makes no difference in terms of adding your AdSense code inside a WordPress post. Reason you want to select asynchronous because asynchronous communications on internet happen much better, much um, faster as well. So let's grab the ad code, let's copy it so I'm going to show you two different methods to get into this. In your WordPress dashboard, press on Appearance, press on Editor. Yeah, If you're using parent-child theme for your WordPress, you can use functions.php in the child theme. Then you can simply create a function like this name it anything you want okay and then within that function just write return single quote paste google adsense code and then put another single quote and then semicolon now depending on the theme that you're using and because I work with WordPress there are many different scenarios for this functions.php file to end meaning if you're seeing anything like this question mark and forward slash that means that's PHP ending statement right so if you're seeing anything like that in your functions.php file don't go ahead and create that function after that question mark and greater than sign. Instead, it must be within. So if you're not seeing it, no problems. You can just do that if you're not seeing that. Another method is if you do not have that appearance editor option for you to add that code, because that can happen, then go to files on your web hosting manager, press on file manager, under public underscore HTML, that is the usual folder name. Simply browse into WP content, browse into themes, select the theme that you're using, and then you can actually right click, edit that same functions file. Okay, so I've just shown you two different methods to get into that, just in case you don't see anything on your WordPress dashboard because some themes block editing these files. Now back to our AdSense code what we now have to do is we just need to say you know what add underscore short code and this single quote this is important let's make it easy let's say insert my AdSense because that what we've placed here we will need to add our AdSense inside the post then let's go and grab that function name let's copy and paste so that it makes more sense to you and then put another single quote and then let's wrap that in that bracket as well so take a look at this because that is the short code that is needed now Finally, we need to place semicolon to close that short code. Let's update the file. Now, basically, we've created a function and we're tapping into add short code. Let me then show you. Let's edit this post that we wanted to add our AdSense code. Because you can have your AdSense code on the sidebar. I have one towards the end and now what if you want to add it anywhere that you want 
So then let's find what's next. Okay, if you're in visual element, then press on text. Well, actually, it makes no difference. Let's just add that. Take a note of this bracket, and we just need to make sure this wrapped within brackets matches this here okay now let's take a look let's update the file and let's go and refresh to see if our adsense code is now within the post itself for wordpress and voila we should see our ad here now many comments on this video suggests that you know what Tolga we followed your approach but we can't see our ads then it's smart to utilize Google Publisher toolbar and install it on Chrome as an extension then you'll be able to take a further look at what's going on because if there is a placeholder there that usually means that you just created your ad unit and it's not updated make sense so the method that I've just shown you will allow you to add your AdSense code inside the WordPress post anywhere that you want all you need to do is make sure let's yeah you know, okay let's copy that and let's say you want to add it somewhere else now add another one you can simply follow that approach okay so once again create the function tap into WordPress ad short code then you can have your ads show anywhere that you want if you're not seeing the ad but you're seeing the placeholder then simply triple check my ads content ad units to see if they are active because it may be the case it's going to take a day or two and so on another thing definitely check out Google Publisher toolbar to analyze if there are any errors and so on but remember if there is a placeholder that means the code is working another method is you can press on control U on the keyboard if you look at the source code and you're seeing your AdSense ads by Google perhaps you might search for that then you'll see and that is how you add Google AdSense code to your WordPress site. I thank you very much for learning with me and I'll talk with you in the next video session.